Hi and welcome to the channel, my name is Heiko. In this very short video I want to explain you how to design your wooden mallet or what is the process to get to the point and how to make a better and more versatile wooden mallet. Just make your perfect hammer. Let's go. Okay, this is the hammer I built. So as you can see it is the easiest construction possible. I took a branch like this, a piece of wood from firewood making, drilled a hole through that on, and added a broomstick, at a little wedge up here, glue it in, done. So it takes half an hour you have your first wooden mallet. Why I did that kind of cheap build? I want to find out if the dimensions are right. So if I would have used the best hardwood I have then and all of a sudden I got aware of the fact that the hammer is too big, too light, too small, too uh, short, too long, then I start over again and I have yeah, wasted the nice material I have. So this is basically the easiest hammer you can build away from taking a stone. Um, yeah, This is what I encourage you to do. Build a simple one and go from there because it is a little bit try and error and you have to go to, through several working situations to find out is this the part you need. If it is too light you can add a little bit weight then you can um, yeah, adjust from there. The second part is as I built that hammer I yeah, more or less I thought about why building a symmetrical hammer in what you have two identical sides. So this is for chiseling and this is for chiseling as well. Yes, I can add a little bit of leather here to um, make the impact a little bit softer to, to work with wood, to give wood and furniture a little tap while building everything together. But this is not soft enough for me. So what I want to do is I want to add a little rubber end to this side so um, yeah to have a huge impact area that is softer than the softest wood I have just to uh, give it a little tap for mounting and building everything together. Then I have a more versatile wooden hammer than most of the wooden hammers uh, that are out there. Okay as a start I cut away half an inch of the hammer head from one side. I want to replace that with the rubber and as a rubber I want to use hot glue and you will see how incredibly easy that is to replace it. And by the way it is a proof of concept hammer so don't be shy do what you have to do just to find out if this will be the hammer with the right dimension that you really want to have at the end. And here is a little pro tip for you. Do not use the hot glue gun as I did it here because you have to shovel in a lot of glue and I underestimated the time that the hot glue gun needs to reheat. So it would have been better to just melt the whole amount of glue in a melting pot or wherever and pour it in at once. So I needed a lot of time and I will do the whole process here in a time lapse. You know now a better way. And here now you can see the difference if I smash it with a with that side. You have the, oh, oh you see, you can, oh, you can see it, wait a minute. There you can see the impact marks like this. And if I do the same with the other side, no impact marks. So, and this is what I want to achieve. Pretty cool. 
All right, this is now the finished mallet. Uh, yeah, this will be my tool for chiseling and uh, yeah, assembling my furniture for the next month so that I can see how this performs and if I need any changes in weight, in dimensions and so on. Up to now, as I did some strokes with the rubber side, I don't see that I ever will build a symmetrical mallet again with two sides doing the same thing. So my future wooden mallets will all get a rubber side because this is very, very handy. I hope you could use some of my advice here or my tips, my inspirations for your personal mallet design and I hope that you follow me, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, you know all that. And yeah, we see us next time around on my channel. Happy crafting!